Say, uh, I'm here with Leslie Kavan. Did I say that right? Yeah. And uh, what I wanted to talk with Leslie about and with all the rest of the students is something that is really important. Every day, Leslie, I talk with a student about mental health and people think, well, oh, mental health. It's as simple as this. I talk with students on how to quiet your mind when things get stressful and anxious. Yeah. And that's all I'm talking about. And I, I like to talk about it because I have to practice it myself so that I can be here for people when things are really difficult. Yeah. And so I started to take some notes. If you don't mind, I'm going to cheat a little bit because I had some notes I was thinking as you were going to come in, some things I'd like to talk about. And the first thing that came to mind was the idea to breathe. It's really important that when things are difficult or life gets the best of you, just to breathe. Now, we're always breathing, but I'm talking about deep breaths. And reading up on this, I found out that if you take six deep breaths in a minute, that's a great way of calming yourself down. Yeah. A couple years ago, I came across an article by Navy SEALs, and they used something called the box breathing. And I read that, and I thought, that's really good. Yeah. And really what it is, it's you exhale for four seconds, hold it for four seconds, then you inhale for four seconds, hold that, exhale four seconds, hold that, and then you repeat the process. And that's called box breathing. And I've used it, and it's amazing how it will calm you yeah. in some of the most stressful times. So you're nodding, so you know exactly about mm -hmm. that. The other thing that I've noticed, just with myself, sometimes I feel like I get down or just a little bit, uh, uh, not as sharp as I, I like to stay, and I've, I'll go exercise. And for me, it can be walking around the building in between periods, like the bell rings, get up and move. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that's movement is so important. It's important to keep your body, your chemistry going. So that's important. Mm -hmm. uh, you probably noticed that when you came in, I have soft music playing. Yeah. I have noticed that when I'm working and the room is quiet, I get anxious. Mm -hmm. So I turn on some real soft, easy listening music. I can't have lyrics in the background because then I stop and want to sing along. So I make sure it's easy listening music. Uh, one of the things that I love about my job, and this is another thing, <clears throat> when I get anxious or stressed, it's important for me to go help others. And I have a job where I'm constantly doing that. It's just untimed. But I love helping others. And it does something for me, for my psyche, if you will, for my soul. Uh, I noticed it in the pandemic. My next item is going outside. Yeah. When the pandemic hit and I didn't know what to do with myself and I was stuck at home like everybody else, I would get up and walk through the park next to my house. 20 minutes, it would absolutely refresh my soul. It was really good. Just to do something as simple as walking in the park is very, very helpful. Uh, something else I found out, uh, progressive muscle relaxation. Have you heard about that before? I think so. Is it like sleeping and like when you try to fall asleep? You uh -huh. relax? Yeah. Right. You relax every like mm -hmm. you start relaxing your feet and, and then, then you your ankles up. and yeah. your knees. So you work your way up through your body. And I thought that first time I heard about that, I thought, oh, that's really weird. Mm -hmm. But it works. It's helpful. Yeah. It, very helpful. Uh, uh, another one that I found out and just recently I watched my grand dog. Uh, my son has a dog. It's an Australian Shepherd. Mm -hmm. Well, when Morty comes to spend the weekend with me, that is just therapy for me. Yeah. It really is cool. Just to have a dog around and mm -hmm. pet them and talk with them and play ball with them. That is really cool. And it's a real stress reducer. Okay. So uh, something I've used over the years, guided imagery. And it can be as, as easy as getting to a quiet place and imagining going to your safe place. Mm -hmm. For me, it's the beach. I imagine I can, as I see it right now to you, Leslie, I'm on the beach and it's a white beach and it's aqua water and there's just a soft lap of the waves and I can hear the seagulls flying over me. I can just hear it. And you know, you spend enough time there doing guided imagery, you can lose yourself in that setting. And that's one of the beauties of having this mind that we have been given, the ability to imagine and to process that. Yoga. Have you practiced yoga at all? Oh, we do it in weights every it, Wednesday. Phenomenal. I didn't know we did. When I was doing weights as a kid, you know, yoga, we did stretching, but we mm -hmm. never really did the process stretching like yoga is. Yeah. Uh, my youngest son is very much into it and it makes a huge difference for him. So I threw that into the mix, mm -hmm. but I'm still learning. Our eighth graders at our last sale conference were exposed to a segment of yoga and they all loved it. It was just an amazing thing that they were taught. Uh, another thing to do to fight stress, and you'll probably catch me every so once in a while, go to the art room. And I love going to the art room because it's like a therapy room. Yeah. 
it's so quiet in there. Even our most disturbed students are in there quietly working on something, and it really is huge. Yeah. It makes a big difference. Um, taking a brief break helps. Uh, sometimes I'll get just uh, overwhelmed with stuff here, or I'll have something happen that kind of uh, you know rings my bell. I take a break, walk around the building, take five minutes. Uh, when the weather's not nasty, I'll even go outside and take a break doing that. And so that is helpful. Uh, some other things I've learned about stress reduction, go dig in the dirt. Do you garden at all? No, my mom does, but I don't Okay. Know. Well, I, I had a friend who's highly intelligent, and she used to tell me how going and digging in the dirt, just doing some gardening, planting flowers, used to really help her. Mm -hmm. And I found that to be true, too. With me, it's as simple as yard work. Have you ever done biofeedback? I don't think so. Biofeedback is something you'd sign up for with a therapist who specializes in that, and they hook you up to inst instruments so that they, if you're anxious or what have you, they teach you how to receive the feedback that your body is giving mm -hmm. out and then how to structure that to calm yourself down. So I have never done that. I've read about it. I'm curious about it. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing you can do is, uh, and I, I've done this, I write out my emotions, for example. Yeah. Uh, for example, I'll wake up at 3.09 in the morning, I kid you not, 3.09. And my mind will be just wide awake. Mm -hmm. And I can't go back to sleep because i got all this stuff on my head. I get up and I do what is called a brain dump. I just get out a piece of paper and I write down everything that's even remotely coming into my head. Yeah. So I get it on the piece of paper and then I go back to bed. Mm -hmm. And that really helps. Now that helps at night, but it helps during the day too. If I make a list or just dump things out that are just distracting me, it is very helpful. Mm -hmm. Finally, um, uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, writing out what your emotions are. Mm -hmm. Getting your emotions out is just a really important thing. And, yeah. and right now, with this December, just with December, we're on highway number four, so it's feel your emotions fully. And that is something you really want to practice doing. So now, those are some things I just wrote down, and I did that like 10 minutes at my desk, knowing you were going to come in and talk to me. But there's so many other things that you learn, too. And I, I talk about that being a catalog for taking care of your own self. Mm -hmm. And when you're involved in mental health or uh, therapy of any kind, or you're a coach, or you're a teacher, or you're in service to others, it's really important that you have your own catalog that works yeah. for you, so you can share that with others. Mm -hmm. So, Leslie, I hope in this season of stress and uh, the final stages of this semester of school, can you believe how fast That's it's gone? Crazy. That uh, this will be helpful and give some pointers for uh, getting over some stuff.